Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we will be talking about another question called Q using two stacks and this is what it looks like on HackerRank so you can go check it out and I have also mentioned the link in the description box below. So let's now look at the explanation. So before we uh, check the sample input and sample output, let me give you a brief introduction to both stack and queue. So stack as we know is a LIFO data structure, which means which stands for last in first out. So you can clearly uh, visualize this as a stack of books. So the book that uh, is the last one to go into the stack will or will be the first one to be picked. And similarly, Q is a FIFO data structure that is first in first out. You can visualize this uh, as a queue of people uh, waiting on a counter. So the one who goes in first will be the f uh, will be the first one to come out as well so now uh, we don't have to use the queue but we have to use stacks to implement queue so these are the three operations that can be performed so in case the user gives one as the input then we have to enqueue if the user gives two then we have to dequeue and if the user gives three then we have to print the topmost element so let us now uh, understand this better with an example so suppose so as the example says now 10 here one second 10 here stands for the number of queries so we'll be given 10 commands here so let us now let me draw two stacks here so that we can visualize better this is stack 1 and this is stack 2 and we will also draw a queue here so as to uh, clearly analyze that uh, analyze if the if these two stacks are uh, functioning properly or not so this queue will show us what uh, the output ideally should be and if these stacks are able to perform the same or not so one as i told you earlier stands for nq so nq 42 so we will nq it in both the cases then it says 2 which means to dq okay so in, in case of q we will just uh, simply clear the queue and the approach to this problem should be there should be two cases that is once when stack 2 is empty there will be a different scenario and when the stack 2 uh, when stack 2 has a bunch of elements there will be a different scenario so currently it's empty and we can just uh, pop this element from the stack so 42 will be popped from stack 1 done with this query now this one as well now nq 14 so we will nq 14 now 3 means to print the uh, head element of the queue so ideally we should be printing 14 as as this says so uh, we will print the topmost element of stack 1 which is very clear and this is the scenario when stack 2 is empty then comes 120 that means nq28 so we will nq28 now comes 3 that is print the head element of the queue now uh, the head element of Q as you can see this is the ideal scenario and the head of this is still 14 it is still 14 but if we print the topmost element of stack 1 it will result in 28 so this so now for this we have another stack and so that's why we will be pushing these elements into stack 2 
so first 28 will be pushed and then 14 and then these two will be popped out from stack 1 so now we can print the topmost element of stack 2 which will be 14 as you can see so these two outputs are done correctly now we have 160 which means nq60 so next is nq78 okay now it says to dq dq will be uh, for 14 now in now when we have to dq we can see that stack 2 still has a bunch of elements and when that happens we don't have to uh, push elements from stack 1 to stack 2 or anything of that sort since it already has elements we will first uh, perform the dq function on this on stack 2 and not on stack 1 or perform any uh, pushing and popping of elements so 14 will be dq'd from here and then again dq so next will be 28 which will be dq'd so this is how the functioning of the two stacks will be and as you can see it is uh, working properly so let us now code this solution so let's now code the solution so first i'll be uh, including the stack library so hash include stack now coming to our main function uh, we'll be initializing our variables so int query that is the number of queries then we'll be having uh, int choice and then even the element next we have to make our two stacks st1 comma st2 after this cn query that is in our sample test case it was 10 now while query minus minus we will see in choice that is 1 2 or 3 so if choice equals equals 1 then in that case uh, it's very obvious that we will push that element into stack 1 so st1 dot push element this is if choice was 2 if 1 if it was 1 now coming to choice equals 2 now inside this we'll be having two conditions that is if stack 2 is empty or not if it is empty then as we discussed we will be shifting elements from stack 1 to stack 2 and for that uh, i'll be writing this function for now i'll be coming back to this but for now just understand that if it is empty if stack 2 is empty then we have to push elements from uh, stack 1 to stack 2 so i hope this is clear once we are done with this we will pop the elements from here because choice equals 2 means we will be dequeuing the elements so once they are shifted in this step we will uh, perform the desired operation on stack 2 so this was our if choice equals to now if choice equals 3 that is print the topmost element so here also that is if stack 2 is empty then uh, we will be shifting elements so shift elements st1 comma st2 
and once that is done we will print the topmost element in stack 2 sorry top so yeah this is done if choice equals 3 then this is a while loop and we will write it on 0 here now let's go back and uh, write the function world shift elements stack int and st1 comma stack int and st2 now we'll be starting with this so while stack 1 is not empty that is until all the elements are pushed so st dot push st1 dot top one second yeah this is what it should be and so as they are being pushed into stack 2 they have to be popped from stack 1 so here the logic basically is that the topmost element has to be pushed into a uh, stack 2 and uh, once that is done once that is copied into stack 2 we have to pop it from the first stack so that's the way we do it and let's now run this code I hope it's clear. Yeah. So there, there's a. Yeah, I've made a typo. Yeah. So let us now run this code. great so this was the sample test case that i discussed and both the outputs are same so let's now submit it okay so great it has passed all test cases and i hope this was clear to you just know that uh, operations like a uh, dq and printing the topmost element will be done only from stack 2 and not from stack 1 so i hope this was clear and uh,